And while joining us live on the show today is Jody Cohen, senior political consultant and expert on British politics and Israel. Uh, first of all, with U.S. Uh, saying that undivided Jerusalem will be part of uh, Israel territory, uh, it is giving an official seal of approval to Israel's claim on Jerusalem. Um, has U.S. Uh, primarily killed the deal by outrightly handing over Jerusalem to Israel? I don't think so. Um as you said, you know, there's been many attempts to um, create peace between Israel and the Palestinians um, over the past decades, and Israel has accepted all of those deals along the way. They might not have liked the content of all of those deals, but they've certainly accepted them because the Israeli peace, uh, people, by and large, like clearly want to have peace with their neighbors. Um, there's a famous expression, unfortunately, that, you know, the Palestinian leadership never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. And as you said, you know, the um, uh, Prime Minister Mahmoud Abbas said that this was the slap of the century and Netanyahu has welcomed it, saying that this is the opportunity of the century. The deal obviously needs to be negotiated between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Uh, this isn't something that can be imposed on anyone. Um, however, the issue of Jerusalem, you, it's, it needs to be negotiated. Um, I don't think the deal is necessarily dead from the outset. I think the fact that you saw some um, ambassadors of Arab states attending the launch of the peace deal in Washington was a really positive sign, and some of the responses from the Arab states also have been very positive which will encourage uh, more people to come to the table and negotiate. And also, if uh, Ms. Cohen, if you could break it down to our viewers as to what is really the importance of Jerusalem in this entire peace plan? Uh, it has been the bone of contention for decades now. So Jerusalem is the key issue. Um, the Jewish people have spent thousands of years uh, praying towards Jerusalem. It's the center of Judaism. It's the center. Uh, we'll try and get Ms. Cohen back on the line as soon as possible. Uh, well, there you have it. Uh, uh, the big peace plans were announced by uh, Donald Trump yesterday in the presence of Benjamin Netanyahu. Palestine has outrightly rejected uh, the peace plan, but there have been mixed uh, reactions coming in from across the world. Ms. Cohen joins us back on the line. Uh, Ms. Cohen, if you could just continue and tell us uh, the importance of Jerusalem in the peace plan talks. Absolutely. Um, so Jerusalem has been central to um, the Jewish people since the beginning of time, basically. When the Jewish people were expelled from the land of Israel, um, they never stopped yearning to go back to Jerusalem. And there's been a continuous Jewish presence in Jerusalem for all time. Um, Jewish people pray three times a day to, to be in Jerusalem. Um, and in the Torah, the uh, text of the Jewish religion, it talks hundreds of times it refers to Jerusalem. So it's really a central, central piece of the religion for Jews. Um, the Palestinians also um, have Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, which is one of their holy sites. So it's important to them as well. So it really is a key issue. Um, in this peace plan, we've heard that the status quo will continue in Jerusalem with the King of Jordan continuing to have a an important role in monitoring how things um, work there. We did also hear in the plan, in the detail, that while the status quo is going to continue, um, all religions will be able to pray on the Temple Mount, which is a slight difference because Jewish people have been allowed at certain times to go onto the Temple Mount in the past, but haven't been able to pray. So that is a, a slight difference. Um, so we'll see what the reaction will be to that. Also, another highlight is uh, are the maps that were released by uh, President Trump. Uh, they talk about uh, uh, Israeli enclave communities. Uh, how would you look at uh, this reorganization? Um, we're talking about tunnels and highways connecting the different parts of uh, uh, almost a mutilated uh, 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 Palestinian territory within Israel. I wouldn't describe it as mutilated territory. I think you know, the Palestinians are being offered double the territory that they currently administer. Um, so there's been a positive reaction to that um, 
certainly from the Israeli side. Um, if you look at you know, Netanyahu described it very, very encouragingly, was alongside Trump at the launch of the plan, welcomes the plan wholeheartedly. And then Benny Gantz, who is the um, key opposition, potentially the next prime minister, um, also he expressed reservations before he went to America. And he was talking about he would only accept the plan if this was accepted by the international community. And then following his meeting with President Trump on Monday, he welcomed the plan as well. He's obviously been reassured that there are enough, particularly Middle Eastern countries, that were welcoming the contents of this plan. Right, uh, Ms. Cohen, thank you so much for joining us on the show and sharing your expertise with us. We'll continue to come back to you as and when um, there is uh, an update in this uh, developing story. Mm -hmm.